Welcome to Success Syndrome, a channel designed to help you discover your potential and fulfill destiny in grand style. I hope you were part of the last episode, which made us understand how to become a pace setter, a trailblazer, a citadel set on the hill that cannot be hidden. Details in the comment section are below and links on the top corners of screen to enable you possess the spirit of excellence to excel in life in the name of Jesus Christ you see the Almighty God created life to be subject to man by always giving us the power of choice there's no situation in life that does not present you with two options this is predicated on the fact that choice is a law and has inherent powers with embedded consequences rules are created by man and can be broken laws are created by god and should never be broken for example there's a law of gravity operating on this earth whether you know it or not if a man decides to find out if he can walk on air and jump off a 10-story building he shall surely die god will not need to kill him neither does his enemy need to pray for him to fall down the law of gravity was broken and its embedded consequences are automatically activated that is why god gave a warning and an advice with an expose of what he wants us to do which is to always lean towards his preferred choice of life deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 I read it says I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death blessing and cursing therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live God in this verse made some very profound declaration revelation attestation and confirmation also an adjudication with a host of witnesses present from heaven and earth that we have the power over life but we must make a choice in order to encounter and not be countered permit me to say that god went overboard for us in this instant because he wants us to make the right choice that's why the psalmist said that what is man that thou art mindful of him not the son of man that thou visited he says, Thou hast made him to have dominion over the works of the house and hath put all things under his feet. If you don't choose, you can lose and end up living a life as a goose, God forbid. Life is only permitted to continue after it presents you with two choices per time. But every choice has a timestamp, as in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Because if you allow life to choose, it may not be very palatable for you. I know some of you will say that sometimes we don't have a choice. No, there's always a right choice to make for every situation. That old devil could go scot-free over several allegations levied against him by believers. Why? simply because he knows the laws and operates within them whilst most believers feel grace will cover them but fail to read joshua chapter 1 verse 8. you see obedience is lawful living obedience is lawful living while disobedience is lawless living both have inherent consequences whenever you break the sequence you face the consequence grace does not cover the law but fulfills the law romans chapter 6 verse 1 to 2 it says what shall we say then shall we continue to live in sin for grace to abound god forbid when paul and silas were locked up in acts chapter 16 verse 25 to 26 instead of making lamentations they chose to obey the law of thanksgiving which activated inherent consequences that caused god to come down as he inhabits the praise of his people to break every chain to set them free again some people have prepared 
prepared opposition arguments about what I'm saying about not having a choice to make in certain circumstances they find themselves in life I already knew you professors you are watching me and apostles would be connected to this particular broadcast so hold your horses and let us address in detail so we don't derail in 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 3 to 20 we see an account of four beggars faced with a humanly impossible choiceless situation as it were nothing was looking good for them verse 3 even made us to understand that it was a much more complicated situation than we imagined they were not ordinary beggars but leprous beggars they were disease stricken with leprosy which affects the skin the peripherals nerves limbs muscular surfaces of the upper respiratory tract the eyes which further impaired their mobility effectiveness to do things on their own and it was also accompanied with order nevertheless they decided against all these odds to go into the city or seemingly commit a suggestive manicide and not suicide to go to the camp of the Syrians who may most likely kill them they made their choice and headed for the Syrians only to get there and discover the gold mine waiting for them from the remnant of spoil left behind from two nations fleeing their God preferred choice made heaven amplify their, their steps as brass to the Syrians which made them flee in a hurry thinking that a greater army was coming and left their spoil behind only for the beggars to arrive from a near death position to a wealthful position all because of an unpopular choice they made four leprous beggars ended up billionaires in the twinkle of an eye I don't want to go deeper over this issue but did it cross your mind to imagine that beggars usually move in numbers and there might have been more beggars with them on that day but only four made a choice of life as Deuteronomy 13 19 and their destinies were turned around forever why are you still waiting in that situation of mockery and disgrace that has kept you bound for so long take your life in your hands and make that choice stop being scared and experience a 360 degree supernatural turnaround it happened before it can happen again stop waiting for heaven heaven is waiting for you using the phrase let the will of god be done seem means I'm afraid to make a choice because God has been done with his will 2,000 years ago concerning this matter in 3rd John chapter 2 stop attempting to frustrate his perfect will you cannot when I moved to this nation I worked with the largest renewable energy firms in the East I was one of the top consultants sadly I had to leave the company on the basis of ethics and morality one year later my ex-manager invited me to help set up a new branch for a new company in my state of residence and brought me on board i was happy god helped me i became again a reference point to that company sadly my boss resigned due to ethical issues and automatically all eyes were on me his best player I have to resign honorably in due season in order not to give them reason to fire me out of season. This was not financially easy for me. Soon after, my ex-manager began his own company. I reluctantly joined him, sold a few deals. Business was very slow, but I recalled I had my own company registered in 2016. I decided to go solo. Amen. I received opposition, condemnation, damnation that caused lack and want to know my address. But today, that opposition became a position point of reference because I can now hire 
and fire but cannot be fired again. God changed my story to the glory of God from just one choice. You too can make that choice today. Don't let anyone talk you down, nor let your heart fail you. Do you know that silence is consent in law? By not making a choice, it's already a choice you have made to remain and not to advance in life. Make that choice today and the next rising star out of obscurity to limelight shall be you in Jesus' name. I want to hear from you on what choice you have made and will make in the comment section below. Don't forget to make a choice today to subscribe and hit the bell icon. I can't wait to see you again on our next exciting edition of Success Syndrome on Mental Vitality Channel. God bless you and compliments of the season.